It's time to say goodbye to the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. According to Apple, 10.5 inches is the Goldilocks size for their newest Pro. It's not too big, not too small, and is essentially a refined version of its 12.9 inch predecessor. But this Pro packs an on-screen keyboard with full-size keys, improved latency when using the Apple Pencil, a fancy new display that offers true tone color plus ProMotion, all powered by Apple's new A10X processor. With so many upgrades, we're left with only one thing to do, get out our tools and tear it down. It seems like every iPad opens the same way. Lots of heat and lots of careful prying. Every new version of the iPad comes with a certain amount of anxiety during the opening procedure. We frequently found the new location for cables by damaging them during the opening procedure, but fortunately, Apple routed this display cable away from the sides and connected it near the lightning port. This newer, larger, true tone display has a resolution of 2224 by 1668 and a pixel density of 264 pixels per inch. It also has an adjustable refresh rate of up to 120 hertz, thanks to the addition of ProMotion technology. This allows for smoother scrolling and improved latency when using the Apple Pencil. Apple claims a latency of 20 milliseconds down from 38 in the older iPad Pros. Up at the top of the iPad, we spy two mysterious black Legos. Turns out these are just plastic spacers, possibly supporting the display and taking up the space where the LTE antenna would live in an LTE model. Out next were the top speaker chambers, headphone jack, and front and rear facing cameras. These are the same cameras found in the iPhone 7, a 7 megapixel front facing selfie cam capable of recording 1080p video and a 12 megapixel rear facing camera that can record 4K video. The logic board came out next and boy was it glued in. On board you'll find the fourth generation 64-bit A10X custom processor with embedded M10 coprocessor and 4 gigabytes of Micron made LPDDR4 RAM. If you want to see the complete list of chips we identified, head on over to the teardown at ifixit.com. Last to come out were the bottom speaker chambers and the battery. We had our fingers crossed for battery pull tabs in this iPad Pro, but alas, there were none to be found. Get that eye opener out again. It's time to pry out this 3.77 volt, 8,134 milliamp hour battery. With the iPad Pro fully disassembled, it was time to evaluate its repairability. The 10.5 inch iPad Pro scored a two out of 10, and here's why. While not soldered in place, the battery is very solidly adhered. No more pull tabs like we saw in the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. The smart connector port is virtually impossible to replace, but it incorporates no moving parts and is unlikely to fail. The LCD and front panel glass are fused together, which slightly simplifies the opening procedure. And on the really bad side, the fused front panel increases the cost of screen repairs and the risk of damaging the LCD when opening. Gobs of adhesive hold everything in place, making all repairs more difficult. That's all for this teardown. Don't forget to check out the full teardown over at ifixit.com, which includes some sweet x-ray images, and stay tuned for more teardowns coming this week. See you next time.